The snail travelers have just finished 26 months as full-time travelers. We are still here in Malaysia. We've decided to base ourselves in Penang, but we also took a trip out to Kotobaru in Kalantan and also to the Printing Islands in the state of Terengganu. We wanted to get out there before the monsoon season started, and in this video I'm going to tell you all the highlights from our time to these three locations here in Malaysia. If you've been watching our videos, then you know that we've been in Penang for a while. There's just so much to do here, and we just really enjoy the beauty of this place. This month we went to the Cat Meow Zeeum. Yes, you heard me right. This place is so unique. We have never been anywhere like this. It is a newly opened museum, and if you like art and you like cats, then this is the place for you. We saw cats on motorcycles, cats wearing hats, cats that were a little creepy, and even a few real live cats too. We love talking to the owner to learn about his story and curated artwork, and Emily especially loved his Hello Kitty collection. Something else that we enjoyed this month was celebrating the mid-autumn festival with these delicious mooncakes. This festival traditionally celebrates the fall harvest, and we appreciate our Airbnb host giving us these cakes handmade by her niece. And then a really great experience in Penang this month was going to a tropical fruit farm to see the different kinds of locally grown fruit. We got to taste some fruit right off the tree, and many of these fruits aren't available in our home country. And we still want to taste some of Penang's famous durian, but it's just not the durian harvest season right now, so we'll have to wait a little bit. But we really enjoyed the tour, which included a nice fruit salad at the end. And here's just an example of the friendliness of the Malaysian people. We couldn't get a grab or a taxi back to town after our tour, so someone gave us a ride free of charge. Thank you to the Penang Tropical Fruit Farm for a great afternoon. We took a bus between Penang on Malaysia's west coast and Kotabaru on Malaysia's east coast and really enjoyed visiting three different museums there. Unfortunately, there were no photos allowed, so I can't show you the inside of the museums, but really enjoyed them, learning about Kalantan royalty, culture, history, art, and handicrafts. We were also excited to go to the Kotabaru night market, but unfortunately, a big storm was passing through, so we didn't get the full night market experience. But when it started to rain, we rushed into a nearby bakery and had some delicious pastries. And I also tried Ayam Pinyet for the first time and really enjoyed that too. In Kuala Bay Suit, we had a wonderful experience with a Malaysian family at a food stall. It was so fun. Their English was a little limited and our Malay is very limited, but we had such a great time despite the language barrier. And we got so involved that I completely forgot about the camera. It didn't record video but sometimes the best experiences are off camera. From Kuala Bay Suit, we took a ferry to the Perintian Islands, and wow, these islands are spectacular with beautiful beaches, beautiful skies, and beautiful water. We stayed on Pulau Besar, the bigger of the two main islands, and did some nice hiking around this island, but the best thing about these islands is what you see below the water. The snorkeling here is fabulous. We saw so many different kinds of fish and sea life. I wish I had a better underwater camera so that the video could have been more clear, but we had a fabulous time snorkeling here. So we still have some more time here in Penang and we are looking for some ideas on some fun things that we can do here. So if you have any suggestions, please leave a comment below. In the meantime, please give us a thumbs up, please subscribe to our channel, and also be sure to take a look at our website at snailtravelers.com to find out more about our world travel adventure.